Hi, and welcome to our career training series. I'm Nick, and I'm one of the team members here at my CNA Jobs. Today we're going to be talking about end-of-life care and what that means for you as a CNA. Most patients prefer to spend the end of their life at home when possible, although end-of-life care is also provided at facilities and hospitals. So what is end-of-life care? Well, end-of-life care is care provided for a patient who is dying. It is different from palliative care, which is for patients who are ill and cannot be cured, but aren't likely to pass away soon. The goal is to ease the suffering of your patient in their final days or weeks. Patients receiving end-of-life care can have different kinds of suffering. It can be physical pain or emotional pain, and oftentimes both. Common types of physical pain can include not being able to move or sleep due to extreme discomfort, while common types of psychological pain can include fear over death, grief, and changes to their body that may be upsetting to them. As the caregiver, it is part of your job to help manage and ease the pain of your patient, whatever they may be experiencing. There are things you can do to help your patient outside of reporting to the nurse for medication as well. These may include things like a gentle massage, applying heat or cold packs, a caring touch, and distractions like music or conversation. You can also help to improve their day-to-day -day comfort with things like positioning them so they're at ease, offering food they enjoy, turning them regularly to avoid swelling, adjusting the temperature to a comfortable level, and keeping the environment quiet and peaceful. There are also a number of ways to help keep your patient emotionally comfortable. Some of those include keeping them company with activities like watching movies and reading or even just talking. Allow them to express their fears and concerns about dying. Don't withhold difficult information from the patient and be willing to hear about their life as many patients like to reflect on their past and memories during end-of-life care. Be sure to respect their desire for privacy too. In addition to helping your patient manage these pains, You'll also need to work with others to create a peaceful and caring environment. This may include family members or friends that are present during this time. You may be tasked with helping everyone openly address and deal with the grief that they're going through. It's important to promote caring communication between everyone in the room. This means you'll be answering hard questions sometimes. And it's important to speak the truth so everyone can be informed. Oftentimes, you'll be dealing with a family caregiver of some sort, a family member who has spent a lot of time taking care of your patient. This will be an especially challenging time for them, and it's your job to help ease their pain too. Some family members will be scared to be in the room when your patient passes, while others may not want to leave for fear of missing it. It's also important to take care of yourself. Providing end-of-life care is a rewarding experience, but it can be challenging, exhausting, and scary. So don't forget to take care of your own needs and address your own fears and grief too. Some things you can do to take care of yourself include building a strong support network, exercising regularly, eating nutritiously, and maintaining a sense of humor through it all. After a patient has passed, there's no need to rush to make arrangements. Family members and friends may wish to spend time with the patient, pray or talk. When the family is ready, after death care will begin. Well, that's all for today. I hope this was a helpful insight into what end of life care is like for CNAs. It's not an easy job, but it is an important one. If you're looking for CNA work, you can visit us at www.mycnajobs.com to find work near you. Or if it's easier, you can call and talk directly to a recruiter.